Hello everyone, this is Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. In this episode I'd like to show you or show you some things about the Microsoft list or SharePoint list uh, title column. So let's uh, create a new list. We can do it from the SharePoint or the, from the Microsoft uh, list app. Let's just create a, a blank list. Let's call it demo and uh, I'll just uh, press on create. Now we get uh, the default title and what we can do is actually um, we can rename it if we go to the drop down and do rename and we instead of um, the title we can call it project. Project. Uh, but let's say uh, either we don't want to use it at all um, or we want to put a default. Now, uh, this um, first column is always important because this is the one that if you click on something, if they click on it, they will open the form. But for some reason, sometimes people choose not to do it. So if we don't want, by default, it's mandatory. So if I create a new form and I want to save it without, we'll, we'll see that it's mandatory. So let's see how we can... Um, make it uh, unmandatory. If I go down to the drop down and column settings, you see I cannot edit it, I can only rename it. But if we go to the classical way, we go to the gear icon and click on list settings, we'll see the list of all columns. Some are system ones, like title, modified, created. And if we cl click on a title, you see that it's required, so by default, it is mandatory. What we can do is click on it and we can deactivate the requirement. So currently it's uh, required. If we change it to no and save it, you'll see that uh, currently I don't need to use this column. And if I fill something up, you'll see there's no more star, I can just save it, and you'll see actually it puts a blank. Uh, by the way, if we don't want to see this, we can also hide this from the view. But let's say we want it to exist, but for instance, we want to set a default. The same thing will be uh, either that or we want to do something calculated. So let's go to the gear icon, list settings, and again, we will go to the title. So let's say now we want it required and it would be mandatory. We can enforce some unique values, yes or no. We can define the maximum number of characters and we can set a default. So for instance, I just want uh, people each time, um, just because it's not good that this, uh, uh, title thing is empty, then we can set something fixed, like we can call it a, a let's say, a demo or link, yeah, just so they know they can click on it, and, uh, or we can use calculated, that will be something more uh, unique. But if you notice now, if we go and create a new item, by default, it will present this link thing because we fixed it and uh, all we need to do is save and each item that we'll create will have this um, uh, link and by default if we add some uh, more columns let's just add a choice and leave these options and we'll call it a status just save it so you will see uh, Actually, the link will always, or the text that we fixed, will always be like that. Of course, somebody can change it, and you can set other things. And so, what actually we saw in this uh, demonstration is one, even though it's not possible from the modern uh, side to, to configure this title, if we go the classical way of the list settings, we can one, uh, set it not to be mandatory and we can set it actually 
to a fixed text or even a calculated thing that will take, for instance, the year or the date or something like that. So this is what I wanted to show you. If you enjoyed, subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can put a alert uh, to see what each time I upload a new video. And see you in the next episode. Thank you. Goodbye.